Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, we are creating a look with the new Dior Saint Couleur Couture in the color Soft Cashmere. Now I asked you guys in my last video, which tutorial did you want to see first? And I also ran a poll over on Instagram and Soft Cashmere was the number one winner. Denim and Plum Tool came in at a close second. So if you are not subscribed to my channel, please do. I will create a litany of more tutorials with these palettes here. I might mix them and match them together. I might mix these palettes with some previous collections. So if you want tutorials on soft cashmere, denim, or plum tool, please subscribe. Now, before we go any further, let's take a second to grab our iced coffee or a hot coffee. Let's take a sip and let's get started. Now, if you are new to my channel, I'm a makeup artist as well as esthetician, and I now offer online beauty consulting services so this is like a one-on-one -on -one beauty coaching service if you have questions about your makeup makeup techniques or skincare and skincare ingredients you can make an appointment with me online and there's a link below in the description box to make the appointment let's have another look at these swatches to make sure we know what we're working with so there are some colors in here that are a little bit more cool tone some more warm I'm gonna go ahead and pull on the ones that are a little bit more cool toned I just feel like creating is something really simple, really elegant for every day, but just a little bit more cool. So to start, I'm gonna go in with a flat brush and go into this bottom color here. It's like a taupey gray, and I'm gonna go ahead and place this on the mobile lid. You could definitely use the brushes that come with the palette here. I think that those would work for what we're doing here because as you can see, we're just placing this color here. and. I wore these palettes over the weekend and I have to say that these do not crease. Um, I have to preface that I did use an eyeshadow primer off camera, but it's the same one that I use every single day in every single video. It's the NARS Pro Prime Eyeshadow Primer. It's listed in the description box. I use eyeshadow primer when I wear makeup because I have very oily eyelids and if I don't, it's just a mess, but as you can see, these are just so easy to use, easy to apply. They're so creamy, so buttery, wonderful. And as I mentioned, these do not crease. I wore each palette for one day and there was no creasing, no smudging, no budging. They just all stay in place. Now I'm going into the exact same color as before, but with a more tapered brush here. And this is just going into the crease. So if I open my eyes up a little bit straight ahead, I want to be able to see this color with my eyes open. So I'm just looking at my mirror here with my eyes open and just placing it basically where the lashes will be. It's really funny because I came very close to not buying soft cashmere. I was really tempted to buy Black Bow, which is that super dark and dramatic smoky eye palette. But then I remembered that this whole collection is permanent, nothing is going away. It's just like a permanent fixture in the Dior makeup line. So I figured I would go with something a bit more soft and subtle for every day. And so I picked Soft Cashmere and wow, it's so beautiful. Now I'm gonna go into the only matte color in the palette here, this really dark chocolate brown. And I'm gonna go in with a pointed brush and just place it on the outer corner. So the makeup brushes will be listed in the description box if you're looking for a specific shape or if you're questioning what I'm using, it's all in the description box. And there is some fallout here with this matte brown shade. Not a lot, but a little bit. I think if you did your face makeup first, you would definitely notice it. Um, I do my eyes first and then the face afterwards because Sometimes I play around with some dark colors and there's fallout, so I just find it easier to do eyes first. I didn't used to though, I used to do face first. And then I don't know what happened, I think it's just when I started playing around with more eyeshadow. This is like several years ago, but I think once I started wearing more eye makeup, that's when I started to do my eyes first. This matte powder really blends easily with this satin finish. I think the first color is definitely a true satin finish. It's shimmery, but it's not like a glitter color. It's just really pretty. And these just blend together very seamlessly. 
Okay, so now I'm gonna go into this top shade here, this really pretty one, and I'm gonna go ahead and use a finger, and I'm just going to tap it on the lid here, like this. I guess I'm going more in the center of the eye, just to add a little bit more sparkle and light to the look. And then using the tapered brush from before, the one that we used for the dark matte color, I'm not adding any more color. I'm just going in here to make sure I didn't erase any of that darkness. Okay, I'm going to use one of the little sponges that came with the palette here. I'm going to use the more pointed tip here and I'm going to drag a mixture of these two shadows here. So I'm gonna go into this one first and then this one and just drag it on the bottom lashes. I have to say that this matte color is very opaque. You don't even have to drag your brush into the palette. You can just tap it like this and you get product on the brush. I'm just going to clean this up a little to get rid of any fallout. Okay, so for the foundation, I'm going to go into my Armani Luminous Silk. I'm in the shade 5.5. I'm trying to finish up this foundation this year, and I think I might succeed, fingers crossed. And then for the concealer, I'm going into my Chantecaille Le Camouflage Stylo in the shade number 3. Once I apply the concealer, I let it sit for a minute because I find it offers more coverage and that's universal for any concealer. So after it's been there for a minute, I just go in and blend it out. And then I go into the inner corner here with the brush and I find that this just brightens up the whole look. And then to finish up the complexion makeup, I'm gonna go into my blush here from Hourglass. This is the Ambient Lighting Blush in the shade Magenta. I think this is just such a pretty blush and there's just enough luminosity that I feel like it can double as a little bit of a highlighter too. This blush is just so soft and so pretty and sometimes simple makeup is better like you can go in with bronzer and powder and highlighter but sometimes just foundation concealer and blush looks really good on its own and then to finish up the eyes i'm going into this chanel stylosieux waterproof liner in black and a black mascara this is the volume de chanel and then for the lips i'm going to go into my chanel lip liner in bois de rose and this lisa eldridge lipstick in velvet fawn Now, the makeup is complete, but let's go ahead and finish off this entire look with some fragrance. This is the Dior, Dior Addict Eau de Parfum. This is a vanilla tonka bean gourmand perfume. I love this one so much. It's very, very vanilla. There's also some white flowers in there, and there's a little bit of a powdery finish. It's absolutely a decadent perfume. I think some people might consider this to be more of an evening perfume or a wintertime perfume, but I wear it 365 days of the year because I just love this fragrance so much. It's definitely the vanilla and tonka bean that you smell the most. I would say it's also just a very feminine fragrance. It's a very soft, feminine, voluptuous fragrance. I love it. Okay, this is the finished look for look number one with the soft cashmere palette. I love this. I love the neutral, cool undertone of this palette. A lot of neutrals these days are very warm, but this one here today especially pulls more cool toned and I think it's so flattering. It's elegant, it's simple, it's put together and something about this whole outfit to me screams very Parisian. I don't know if it's the blouse, if it's the perfume, if it's the makeup or if it's the whole mood, but I feel very Parisian today and I'm very happy with that. 
All right, guys, this is the finished video, the finished look. Leave a comment down below letting me know what you think of today's makeup. What do you think of the look? What do you think of these new Dior Saint Couleur Couture eyeshadow palettes? The videos for Plum Tool and Denim will be coming out very shortly, so just make sure to stick around and subscribe. So this is all I have for you guys for today. Thank you all so much for stopping by. I hope you have a beautiful day, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.